Okay guys, this is a very special video because we're in a very special car. Uh, this is a Lamborghini Aventador and we are at the Dubai Autodrome. This is for the sixth anniversary of Auto X. Um, so it's a special issue as well. So when you're in a Lamborghini, everything is kind of special. We're gonna set the uh, drive mode into Corsa, which is race for Italian. Um, and when you're on a racetrack, in a Lamborghini, that's kind of what you want to do, isn't it? Um, we also want to change gears manually, so there's some amazing paddles behind the steering wheel, and this thing just grips like you cannot believe. I want to stop talking because the howl from the exhaust is just so incredible that it's a lot better to listen to that than it is to hear me talk. Oh my god. So, we've got some really special cars at the Autodrome. We've also got a single seater. But this thing is just in an absolute league of its own. People have complained a little bit about the gearbox. Um, but you know what? If you're in a car that is that looks so good and that drives so well, then you live with a gearbox that lets you know when it's changing gear. So we're on the club circuit of the Dubai Autodrome. I should be wearing a helmet, but if I were, I wouldn't be able to talk to you. So, we're not going to give it the complete beans, uh, but we'll try and give you a nice clean lap and tell you a little bit about this absolutely incredible car. So we're going down the front straight of the Dubai Autodrome. We're restricted to a certain section of track. Um, it's 2.4 kilometers, but it's really technical. There are some awesome um, double apex corners, uh, there's something that is like a corkscrew in reverse of the Laguna Seca um, and it is just something else altogether. So, brake, turn in for C1 and this car just wants to, this is a double apex and it is just something else. Six and a half litre, 60 degree V12 and it's got 700 horsepower 690 pound feet of torque. It does 0 to 100 in 2.9 seconds. It'll rip your face off. And yet, it is so easy to drive. You just point, press the accelerator, and it goes where you want it to. It's not a bullfight. It does not want to rip your heart out. It just wants to work with you. It is something else. We're just following the line and it's going exactly where I pointed. Exactly where I point the car. I just have to turn, look at the apex cone and hit the gas and that's it. It is unbelievable. And if you can look around, it's a really special cabin. It's really like being in a fighter aircraft. You've got the start-stop button hidden under this red flap uh, and it's all very theatrical and if it is not theatrical in a Lamborghini uh, then what's the point of living right again we're back up to C1 it's a short course and it just it's unbelievable Nice flowing bend. Get on the power. Oh, and that's when you can feel when you've got your foot flat down on the on the throttle in race mode, and you go to change gears. That's when you can feel it in your back. It lets your backbone know you better be prepared because we're going forward very quickly. It's so easy to drive. It's unbelievable. That's our core, that's our cue. We're gonna go in this lap. Um, and it's just a phenomenal machine, isn't it? It's just the absolute epitome of what a Lamborghini should be. It's owned by Audi, of course, the Volkswagen Group. So everything works. Uh, it's not gonna spontaneously combust 
like Lambos of yesteryear. The Miura was as dramatic. It was, an, which is the, the car introduced, the first mid-engine supercar, as it were, uh, introduced by Ferruccio Lamborghini uh, in response to what Enzo Ferrari was making down the, uh, down the road uh, in Italy. And, uh, and that thing was, it was as striking, if not more, in the 60s. Uh, it was as groundbreaking, but literally, it would self-combust every now and then. This thing is not going to do any such thing. It's got German engineering where you need it. It's got Italian flair where you need some of that, which is pretty much almost everywhere. Um, and it's got just phenomenal, phenomenal manners on a racetrack. There is nothing else that you want to be on a racetrack in other than a Lamborghini Aventador, believe you me. Um, I am smitten and I'm going to be very sad to be driving into this pit lane. But let me tell you, um, the time that we've had this car on the track, it's been worth it. So, we'll see you next time.